Hey what's going on, in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Verizon 5G home internet router so if your Wi-Fi network is acting up on you, like going too slow or not working at all then you should do a factory data reset and this is how we do it for this process you're going to need a paper clip or a SIM card thread ejector or something similar you know, you're going to flip over your router like this you know, underneath you're going to see this tiny hole right there for this particular router. You know, now you're going to insert the pin ejector and uh, keep pressing and holding the pin ejector into that hole for around 10 seconds. You know, after this, you let your router boot up. It's gonna take around 3 to 5 minutes. You know, you're going to see some flashing lights. During this process, you're going to see white lights and even red lights, but don't worry about it. Once the LED indicator turns solid white, it means the router is up and running. And now you're going to use the password that you see right here on the router. You know, if you don't know the name for your Wi Fi network, you're going to see it right here as well. And now try to connect to your Wi Fi network using your iPhone or your computer and uh, your network should work just fine. Just uh, don't expect it to be way too fast because you know it's Verizon, so it is what it is, but uh, decent overall. If this didn't work for you, you can try to move the router to a different location, closer to an outdoor window for better reception, and uh, again, you allow the router to boot up. This process takes around 5 minutes once the LED indicator turns solid white, it means the router is up and running. You know, if this video helps you, please don't forget to subscribe. That really means a lot to me. You know, that's it for now, and thanks for watching this video. Bye bye now.